As you can tell, the amount of footage that I have for Ghana is significantly less than the other countries that I have filmed on this voyage. Ghana was a very difficult country for me to process and the amount of culture shock that I experienced in that country was far greater than any of the culture shock I really experienced in the other countries that I have traveled to up until this point. Um, India was one of the other countries that really really hit me hard but I had 12 days before the next port and I had a lot of time to process it. Going into Ghana I didn't have a lot of time to process the information that was being taught to us in class before actually arriving to the country. In our global studies class where we discuss the different topics, issues, political standings, how governments work, etc. etc. We were told about the goals that Ghana wants to achieve over the next 20 or so years. They have a campaign called Vision 2020 and what that campaign essentially says is between the years of 2020 and 2029 they hope to be the first developed country in Africa. Between the years of 2030 and 2039 they hope to be the first industrialized country in Africa. Having that already planted in my mind, I did not, I wasn't prepared to experience what I experienced. Um, I, I had already known that it was going to be a lot more difficult as a woman traveling in country and that I'd most likely be harassed a lot more, but I really wasn't prepared for the amount that I was harassed. And on top of that, the amount of poverty that was so prevalent in Ghana really, really just hit me in the face and just knocked me down. I It was so completely overwhelming to get off of the ship, get on a bus, and drive for two hours, and all you see is essentially shacks on the side of the road, where, and those are people's homes. And it just does not make sense to me still how Ghana has these goals and a campaign to be the first developed and industrialized country in Africa in the next 20 or so years when the state, or I guess the standards for living that are in the country are so low compared to other countries that I have been in on this voyage that it just doesn't make sense to me how they are going to make all these drastic changes in really a short amount of time. You know, 20 years isn't that long. Um, and just, it's a lot of confusion with Ghana, and I had a lot of times where I decided that I just was not up for filming. I just didn't see the point in it. I, it was just a time where I was really reevaluating my priorities. Like, I guess you could say, and I've done that a few times throughout the voyage. I've realized how unimportant social media is and updating everyone every five seconds and emailing people back home. It's just a lot of things have shifted and being in Ghana in a country that I had a completely different idea about than the reality of what it actually was, um, I had a chance to really reevaluate my priorities again. And during that time of reevaluating, I decided that I just did not want to film. I did not want to spend my time behind a camera over the three days that I was blessed enough to spend in such a beautiful and happy country. And 
part of me is a little bit bummed that I did that. There's a few moments that I wish I could have captured in a picture or some film, but at the same time, I know that in the moment I was just so completely overwhelmed with what I was seeing and what I thought I was going to see that it just didn't make sense to try and capture the moments that I wanted to capture. It just would have had a different lens on it. Um, and that's one of the biggest reasons why the footage for Ghana is so short. It's just the amount of culture shock that I was experiencing mixed in with realizing, hey, there's one more port after this and then, you know, my voyage is going to be over. I'll be getting off of the ship that I've come to love and call my home for the past three months. And, you know, a lot of feelings hit me in Ghana and that's one of the biggest causes of the lack of footage and the lack of enthusiasm to really document what was going on. But I do have one more port left. I'm not sure how many days I'll actually be spending in country, but I will be going to Casablanca, Morocco, and my number one goal is to watch Casablanca in Morocco, or watch Casablanca in Casablanca. Um, so I just you know, stay tuned and hopefully there will be more footage from Morocco.